All right, guys, this is going to be a part two video. In the description below, I'll put the first video that we filmed out here. But we came back to uh, find roughly about five to ten vehicles. Let's see how it goes. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, y'all. Check this out. This is unbelievable. The last time we were here, how far away were we, James? So what, 100 feet? 200. We're 200 feet away. If you go this way, about 50 feet. Yeah, so 50 to 200 feet away, we never seen this car. Look, we're right off the road. The truck's just right here. We've only been hiking for 60 seconds. And we already came up upon this car that my buddy is the one who gave me the lead on it. I'll link his channel in the description. This channel is kind of hard to find, so I'll just link it in the description so it's a lot easier. Wow, dude. This is like a small car. Look how far apart it is, dude. This car's tiny. What do you think it is? Well, this isn't a clue. This is a dryer, but look how tiny this vehicle is, guys. Here's the engine bay. Let me move this dryer so you can see the headlights. Look how small this vehicle is. Who are you tripping out on, James? No, that's where my stick is. Yeah? Wow. So we're going to keep going down further. You want to try to go up high and hike down? All right, guys, uh, here's other pieces to this vehicle. Looks like someone lifted this thing up recently, huh? Dude, how'd you just walk through there? All right, guys, here's another piece of a vehicle, but I don't think this is related. It's different colors. This hood's a lot bigger. Hmm. No, that's all not to this. So, is this all together as one? This and that aren't the same one. They're not? All right, guys, we've got a, different, a bunch of different pieces of cars here. You just walked this way? Wow, look at this, guys. So, we have a bunch of different pieces of cars here. This is like run off of a chop shop or something. This is crazy. Damn, this is steep. Holy cow. This looks like an old Honda or something. I don't know. y'all here's another piece of a car I want to bring something up one of my subscribers on this last video we filmed out here said hey you're at Cadillac Hill and I was like oh really so I've always heard of Cadillac Hill but I really never knew where it was I knew it was somewhere in Southern California but he said at one time 
in the 80s this was so full of cars down here the city had to come out here and clean it out and there was all these were just full of cars every rut in this canyon people would just launch cars off the top look how far we've already traveled but uh yeah he said at one time there's hundreds of cars down here Guys, we're almost to the bottom. This is the farthest down we've ever made it. Yeah, it's about as far as I got the other one. Is it? Roughly. Check this out guys, James spotted a gas tank off a motorcycle. When you're out here in these canyons, you always discover something crazy. Whenever you travel off the trail, that's when you start finding stuff. Dude, that's the whole motorcycle. Look at that. There's a tank to our motorcycle right here. See that? So there's probably a motorcycle buried right here. terrain out here guys it's wicked we made it though my dream was to make it back down in here and we made it wow dude which way you want to go first that way. we'll go this way to the left and if we don't find it we'll turn back around because we know there's cars to the right. That's the only reason we came. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna shut the camera off while we hike for a little while. As you guys can see, it's like, this is all water plants. There's a stream that runs through here. That's why I have my mucking boots on. All right, y'all, look how tall these weeds are. I'm not sure how much farther we could go. It's just like wicked, wicked terrain. Or, uh... <clears throat> brush. This brush is just crazy. So... Well, I see a car. <laughs> I see something over here. All right, guys, I'm telling James to turn around, but he says let's keep going. It's about the same, James. All right, y'all, I'm not sure if you can see it. 
there was a car up on that hillside. And those are not rattlesnakes, those are some kind of bugs you hear. Okay, just so you guys understand what's going on here. This vehicle is on the opposite side of this mountain. So it came from up high off the of off-road trail. So now we're gonna have to get to it. All right, guys, made it to this car. And we spotted another car right behind my buddy. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a red car over there. Dude, we might find a body in this one. These weeds are taller than me, guys. I'm walking through right now. Dude, it's a Jeep. A newer Jeep. The license plate's gone. Wow. Dude, someone cut the seat belts. There might have been somebody in this. This might have crashed with somebody inside. I'm not sure if you can see, but look at that seat belt's been cut. And usually when seat belts are cut, they cut somebody out. Oh, there's a pocket knife. Look at Milwaukee pocket knife down there on the ground. Straight down. Look, there's a Milwaukee pocket knife. Right there. Yeah, the engine's still here. Look at that. So this could have been possibly somebody four buying up here and they might have went off the edge. Crazy. What is this all about? Look at this. Oh, you know what? The police might have been down here and they might have put this yellow tape across it to show. Oh, look. On the windshield right there, it says CHP. So they might have, uh, I can't read what it says. They might have come down here and marked it that it's been already searched. Wow. That blows my mind that that back seat belt's cut like that. And that means somebody was in there. Look at that. That middle seat belt's cut. They cut somebody out of there. I'm guessing. The back says Jeep 3.7 liter. Let's see this side. The drive shaft, the rear end, the tranny, the engine, everything's there. Like I said, this could have been an actual accident, someone off-roading up here messing around. Let's make our way that way and see what James found. Remember, we have probably five other cars the other direction, so we can't spend too much time on each one of these cars, but I'm pouring sweat. Pour, sweat's actually dripping out the bottom of my shirt, so I only brought two bottles of water. So we gotta limit our time down here. And James doesn't have any water on him. All he has is monsters. <laughs> so let's get rolling. All right guys, if we're, if we're talking actual cars, this is number two. I mean, we found a lot of parts today, but what is this, James? Ford. Ford what? Ranger? Dude, you could walk right out right here, look. Good. We could. 
Dude, check it out. Here's an engine on the ground. Check it out. Check it out, guys. There's a, a motor on the ground. A little four cylinder. Motor, bumper. Parts everywhere. Like I said, I've heard stories about this growing up. I just didn't know that I was actually here. This is called Cadillac Hill. Dude, this car is sitting on top of a car. Yeah. <laughs> An old car. Flathead screws. Look at that. This car is sitting on top of an old car. I don't know what this is. That's part of an old car. All right, y'all, this is some type of Ford. Somebody's been down here trying to strip it. <laughs> yeah, someone's been taking parts. Seats, wheels. It's time to take wire harness, crane. Everything, huh? Okay, it says on the back, Ford SE, right here. Oh, it's a Fiesta, a Fiesta. It says Fiesta or Fiesta on the bottom. Ford Fiesta. Man, I can't believe there's a cut up car underneath it. Look at that. I'm just going to walk this way 20, 30 feet and turn around. All right, guys, we're going to turn around here in a minute. What is that? Here's some more car parts. Here's a washer, a uh, water heater. Here is, wow. Here's an old vehicle. It's partially cut up, look. Old 60s, 50s vehicle right here. Chevy truck. Somebody dumped off the top up there. Crazy. Here's a computer. Remember guys, we can't go too far this way because we gotta go back the other way. Big direction. Opposite direction. So I'm sure there's more cars that way, but with terrain like this, nah, we gotta keep going. We came originally to go right and we came left, so this video hasn't even really started. Stay tuned. Look at this old bench seat right here as we're trying to go to the other direction. We're not in the California desert, but we're in California. We are in the California desert. Is this considered the California desert? Well, it's considered the California desert. All right, guys, I'm going to keep rolling. I'm trying to make it down this little rock mountain here. James is over there hanging out. Stay tuned. We're going to keep hiking. You ready? Guys, you got the scenery. Look how crazy these. What are these things called, James? Fox tails? 
They're not foxtails, they're something else. Cattails? Cattails? All right, y'all, we're rolling. We're out of here. We're on a mission to find these other cars and whatever else we could find. Alright guys, this took my first drink of water. Let's keep rolling. Alright guys, got a couple battle wounds, but I'm alright. You lost it again? All right, y'all, James found a frog. But it's gone now. All right, guys, this is where the last video cut off at, part one. Oh, no, it cut off way up there. Where? You can't see. You can still see once you go up above that. Yeah, but remember we had the drone in the air? We seen this white vehicle. It looks straight up the cliff. It seems like the room. Oh, that's where we're standing up there, huh? We couldn't get to that edge because it's too steep. Yeah. Huh. Standing in water, guys, as you can tell from this water plant. So it looks like we have a Ford van. Do you want this too? All right, y'all got a Ford van. Got some killer tires on it. If you're missing a Ford van, E150, it's a neuro one, wow. Dude, what kind of car is that? <laughs> wow. Dude, is this van moving? No, okay. Uh, be careful, I see a lot of bees. Be careful, I see a lot of bees. Alright guys, what type of car is this? It's been burned. Stay tuned, y'all. Alright, y'all. Dude, is that a Camaro? Dude, that thing has a wicked hood on it. Man, that hood is so cool. So there's no beehive in there. So I can walk on top of it. If I can get down there. Yeah, see if there's an engine, James. Huh? See if there's an engine. Yeah. No engine? No. Oh, this thing's stolen. This isn't a crash car, guys. Someone dumped this. 
back in the day. It's been here longer since so we came and got the motor out of it. I can't drag it because they leave those blue rims on it. Dude, look at this hood, dude. Hood open. Huh? It's jammed. It's too badly bent. What's the front end look like? Man, I feel bad for walking on this hood. Sorry, guys. All right, y'all, what is this? What kind of car is this, guys? With a hood like this. What would have double inlets like that? A Pontiac? Firebird? Firebird a Pontiac. Dude, this terrain, this weeds, these. There's more down here? There's more cars that way, but with eight foot weeds, should we go on? <laughs> Are you talking about over? No. The place? There's just like some, supposedly some right over there. The other, other place? No. Before it? Supposedly. Go back up to the side and walk over the edge over there and look. All right, y'all, for you car enthusiasts out here, what type of car is this? I'll show you some interior. Here's the interior. Exploring these cars, guys, is extremely dangerous because there could be beehives in these cars. You start all these bees, you're screwed. You can't run when you're out here like this. Man, wicked, wicked stuff. Let's keep rolling. We're not sure if we're gonna keep going. We might walk about five or 10 minutes to the right. If we don't see nothing, just call it there and say we actually accomplished this because this has really been on my mind. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, guys, look what James found. I'm not going to take it because I didn't find it. James, you should take this, man. Hang it on your wall. I've learned from YouTube, I find a lot of these the same pattern. I believe this is a F-250 or F-350 truck hubcap. Could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong on YouTube, huh? No, this is old, dude. This is like 50s, 60s, I think. You gonna take it home? Do wherever you want. No, you found it. I only take stuff I found. That was my part. All right, y'all, stay tuned. All right, guys, check this out. Look what we found. James, this is a front axle off a four-wheel drive truck. Yep. It looks like to me like the axe. Oh, it is a spindle, huh? Yeah, Probably a blazer or something. Nah, heavier than that. Really? We just found this guy's laying out here. You know, all this stuff I show you guys is coming from up there. It's coming from heaven up there. <laughs> Let's keep rolling. <coughs> wow. Look at that, guys. What type of animal would use the restroom constantly in the same spot like that? It's so strange. You see this, James? Weird. Guys, I just about had it. Look at all these foxtails on my pants. All this stuff has needles in it. I don't know what this stuff is. 
What is that stuff, James? It's like needle plant. All right, y'all. Not sure if you can see it from the GoPro, but there's a car up there. We've already hiked to those cars in the first video, and we turned around because the canyon was too steep, or we thought it was too steep. So now I turned around because we were going towards the other car. So. We're gonna hike a couple more minutes this way. If not, we might just hike up right here and take the easy way out. dude I'm done we going out right here <laughs> ain't no way I'm going that way let me just look off the tip whoa I don't see no cars over here see part of a car all right guys we're throwing the towel in look how soaked we are that's not water from the river that's water pouring down our stomachs and legs into our boots <laughs> so we're both pouring pouring sweat and uh we're not going to hike through 10 feet of weeds as you can see right here there's actually a car hood down there i see but they just got to the, a terrain situation that we don't want to continue anymore and uh another day at like you know 6 a.m yeah how about this we hike out of here somehow and uh put the drone in the air see if we can find the other two or three or four there's some more this way i just don't know how many but i hope you guys enjoyed this video Dude, I think that's the wickedest hike we've done to cars yet. What do you think? About a wet window windshield. In Death Valley? That was pretty wicked, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, stay tuned. Alright guys, we found this little canyon cut right here. At one point, in our last video, we turned around on this canyon gorge because it got too steep. Huh? But look at all this junk down here, guys. Damn. What? Oh, dude. <laughs> Do you see that? Ow. Yeah, the camera's on on that one. I got so much dirt in my mouth right now. I've fallen twice. Usually I never fall. I think it's I'm hiking in these water boots. Edge. Dude, we got dryers, shopping carts, rims, tires, bumpers, fenders. Uh, some sort of uh, settling tank? Settling tank? <laughs> a rather old, full, big propane. James, kind of start far behind me in case something happens. Huh? Try to go first, that way you don't land on me. Probably. Man, if we could just make it out of here without having to hike all the way back to where we hiked in at. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going out to camp. <laughs> if I got to clear the walk 
girl on going the camera. Check this out guys. That is a cab of a semi. The actual door and window and everything in the steering wheel. James, we cannot fall right here. If we fall, we're dying. Look. Huh? Think it's the best way? Huh? Think it's the best way out of here? I know, I'm not. Oh my god. Serious? I don't know. I'm safe behind this bush. <laughs> Stay tuned, y'all. James, how'd you do that hike with no water? I gotta know. Proper hydration.
for those of you that know, no, we're pretty much wringing our shirts out, and the sweat's just pouring out when we take them off and wring them out. I'm pretty sure he's done the idea. Yeah. All right, guys, this thing's a lifesaver. It's a seven-gallon water tank. I just keep it in the bed of my truck. That's the first time I've ever used it, and that was worth every dollar I spent. It feels amazing just to wash your body off like that. And the water was still cold inside from last night. So that's the plush right there. It felt amazing just to wash your arms and face and neck off. Stay tuned guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. We're gonna be trying to, I'm trying to film every three days. I just can't find time with my, uh, my job and uh, busy schedule. So I'm trying to post as many videos as possible. Uh, I think I want to thank everybody for um, commenting and subscribing. Like I said in my other videos, I'm getting comments from all over the world. UK, London, Mexico, everywhere. It's crazy. Uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Sure. Alright, guys, this is my shirt. I did not add water. Let's see if we can wring water out of it. Filming it? Dude, that's sweat, dude. You getting this? Wow. Let's go more about the part where you're wearing a freaking Pendleton in this heat. I don't want to show my fat stomach on YouTube. Peace out. It's all foxtails. Look at all these foxtails, guys. I think I'm just gonna take all my clothes off and throw them away, honestly. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna take all my clothes off and throw it all away. <laughs> What do you think, James? Huh? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm throw the socks away, dude. <laughs> I'm throwing everything away, dude. I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably gonna throw my socks away if it's not the flex, though. They're pouring out.